Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I've turned off my usual light here, so you'll notice it's not got a such an orangey tone. And I've done that though because it's starting to buzz. It's a sort of fluorescent tube thing. It's starting to buzz annoyingly. Um, I don't know what this is. So it's again another kind of mystery to me. Um, probably not a mystery to you because it'll be in the title of the the video. I hope. Um, let's see what is in my bag. Oh, it's got paper paper stuff in it. Oh, it's another windscreen glass repair kit, but this one hasn't actually come in a, you know, a fancy pants uh, bag. It's just uh, a really simple one. And uh, I'll just, let me have a quick look. I think I did have my other kit. I saw it the other day. Yes, indeed. So this is the sort of windscreen glass repair kit I had before and I was going to sort of reuse this to sort of do a chip, but it, oh, that's not part of it. Um, but the sort of run out of resin. I thought I'd just sort of compare. They're totally different, aren't they? This thing looks way cheaper. It doesn't seem to have the same kind of syringe, although it's sort of a pre-filled with the liquid. So that's, you know, an interesting one. So it's sort of like a simpler one. It does have instructions for chips. Clean the glass, peel off one side of the O-ring, place it on the thing, peel off the top O-ring, attach the pedestal, run finger around the top to make sure it's sealed. So you're pushing around that, that's fine. Remove the cap, insert into the pedestal, twisting while inserting. Pull back till the notch on the plunger appears. So there is some sort of notch. Oh yeah, I can see it. it does have a notch. It's not got like a metal clip like this one, but it has got it. Wait 20 to 30 seconds. So you pull, pull it up, make the vacuum, wait 20 to 30 seconds, and then you twist it and then let it push the um, fluid down. So as you're pulling it up, you're going to draw any air bubbles that are in the small chip up with it. So that'll fill up with bubbles and they'll uh, sort of float to the top. And the idea is obviously you wait for that 30 seconds for any bubbles to sort of small bubbles to work their way up and stay there. And then once you're done, you're sort of going to twist it and let it drop back down. And then that should inject into the cavity the exact amount you need to fill it. So once you've done that, basically, let's see what it's... Check, check inside to see if it's filled. If not, repeat six and seven. So either you just keep sort of doing that plunging, waiting and sort of injecting again. Allow to sit for 15 minutes. Remove syringe from pedestal, cap syringe for future use. Oh, so it's sort of suggesting that you've got a bit more goes in that, which is nice. Cover break with clear plastic, food wrapper, any clear plastic. Some of the O-ring may be on the glass. This is okay. Cure in direct sunlight for 20 minutes. Allow more time in hazy days because it's a UV cure. In fact, that shouldn't even be... Look at that. It's a UV cure resin. Um, hopefully this tube is UV, you know, protective, but it might be a good idea to put that in a dark container. That's why these ones come in that colour. Remove any excess chemicals with O-ring... Break with a safety razor, and, yeah, just sort of scrape the glass, and then that's that. It says you can use it. Glass cleaner can be used on a cured repair. Now, when I bought this other kit, though, it did come with a spare O-ring right there, so it does sort of imply there should have been more than enough resin to just one go, so maybe I'll give that a go before cracking onto this one, but in you know, seeing how much resin in that, I'll sort of want to waste it. So I just don't know. Um, I'll check on... Uh, my description I'll put how much I paid for this I think it was about a fiver and I think this one was more like a tenner so you can see the difference what you get between the two I think if it does the job though it's probably worth the money I mean if it gets you through an MOT brilliant right it's going to be worth tenner easily in half an hour of your time so yeah please leave uh, any comments down below if you've used this to repair a sort of chip and I've definitely not used it to repair a crack but that'd also be interesting to me um, if you've got a source for this resin, I'd like to hear about it because if we can get more of this resin, we can reuse these kits and fix all the chips on your car rather than just sort of mess around with one or two. All we need to do is buy some of that 3M sticky stuff, which that ring's made out of so we can make our own seals. But that's easy enough to buy. You buy that on a roll. So yeah, please like, subscribe and share if you're that way inclined. And as ever, do, 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 do. thank you for watching.